tutorial. Spring is here and we are in the middle of it. It is beautiful, it is fragrant, and it is noisy. There are birds that we can hear chirping happily. We can hear mama and papa birds chirping and squawking angrily whenever something or someone comes near the nest. And then we hear the babies who are saying, feed me. So I thought it would be fun to do a painting of Angry Birds. Feed me, feed me, feed me. So we need watercolor paints, watercolor paper, pencil, eraser, a glass of water, maybe a little uh, towel or paper towel to wipe up any excess water that's on your brush. And then we can get started with our Angry Birds. All right. All right, my friends, I have my watercolor paper taped down to my background. I have my sharp pencil and I have an eraser. Now we are going to draw, first of all, just the top of the nest. We're going to do about this much of the drawing. We're going to do the three baby birds peeking out of the nest. Mama bird sitting on top with a worm and she's going to be feeding them. All right. So we're just showing the top of the nest. So a little bit here and a little bit here and bring the top of that nest in a bit of a curve to just above your paper line. Then we're going to draw three baby heads. Maybe we'll do a bigger one up here. Now we're not going to draw the head right at the bottom of the, or right at the top of the nest. We're going to go a little bit above one. two, three. Okay, let's put the front of their chest on like this. Mama bird's going to be sitting up here and she's going to be holding the worm right about here. So all the baby birds mouths are up and open. And basically they're saying, feed me, feed me, feed me. So we're going to give them like open V's. Their mouths are open, ready for the food. Their eyes are also kind of like these with a little line in the middle. So they're hungry, but they're also a little angry. If you've ever seen the way baby birds open their mouths, they almost look like they're so demanding. Feed me now. All right. And their little wings are flying up and just making all a kerfuffle. So we'll do the big bird first. The next little bird and little baby bird's wing probably doesn't block the other bird much at all. Let's give them a little whoop de doo on their heads. Just because I like little whoop de doos Okay, mama bird. Let's bring her belly like this. Her tail is up like this. Her feet, well, let's do her legs. We won't draw her feet. They're just on the nest somewhere, okay? Her little triangle of the body there. Now we're going to bring her head around like this and like that. So she's kind of oval or egg shaped. It's funny considering she lays eggs. Then we're going to give her a little triangle beak. The top of the beak can go like that, but the bottom is going to have a worm in it. So Let's draw one part of our little worm first. Let's say it's hanging like that. Then the beak comes under that worm onto the other side like that. And then we see the worm dangling on the other side. Let's give mama a big eye, also kind of oval shaped. and a circular iris, and this will be the black pupil looking down at her babies. Let's give her some nice eyelashes. Let's give her a whoop de doop on the top of her head. And let's give her some tail feathers, okay? One, two, three. Let's give her a wing. Draw it with your pencil lightly and if you think it's not in the right place or it needs some adjustments just do it you can just 
erase whatever you don't like. What we could do is have just a little branch. Let's say this branch is hanging down here. And there's a leaf on it. And then it comes over here. I'm just putting a bunch of leafy lines in here. But when we paint this, we can just make it greenish and brownish. We are going to make colorful birds. They're not just going to be ordinary birds. Let's give them some color. So I would like you to get a fairly thin brush, not a wide one, nice and thin. Wet it. I'm going to start with my red bird or pink. And I'm going to paint the big one. Now I'm going to trace around my pencil lines. I'm not going to go outside because if you remember from watercolor, the paint will stay and the water will stay only where your brush has already touched the paper. So you see here, it's not going to go outside the wing. Now before you rinse that brush off, let's make one of Mama's tail feathers pink as well. Okay, rinse your brush. Uh, let's go with the blue bird next. I'm going to go to the smaller bird and make that one blue. And yes, we are going to make one of Mama's tail feathers blue as well. Okay, clean off your brush, get your purple, and don't forget Mama's tail feather. All right, we're gonna go away from the birds for a while, let that all dry, and let's get a bigger brush, wet it, and get into your green. And let's go up, first we'll, if you have some leaves there, let's paint them in. If you have some darker green, which I believe you all do, dip into that, and while your light green is still wet, dab some of that dark green in between some spaces and let it bleed, let it blend in. I'm just adding little drops, little dots, I'm dabbing it, but when it dries, it'll all blend nicely. Now, what color should we make Mama Bird? I have an interesting green here. I might just make my Mama Bird this interesting green color. Why don't you find something on your palette that you would like to use for your Mama Bird? Let's paint her body, not her eye, and not her beak, okay? And of course, not the tail feathers. They're already painted. Okay, and that's just the first layer. It'll dry, and then we'll add some more depth to it a little bit later. I think I'm going to give Mama a little bit of an orange beak and I'm going to use my, my smaller, narrower brush. I'm going to paint Mama's skinny little legs black. Apparently I'm not. They're brown. Where's my black? I don't know where my black is. I'm going to put some brown on my brush, maybe mixed in with the green a little bit here. Brown and green. And I'm going to just do a thin line on my branch in here. Now it is still wet from the leaves that I did, but I, I want it to be because I want it to, to blend in. And since we have some brown on our brush, let's paint that little worm. And that wasn't brown, that was red, but it's kind of an interesting color for a worm. Have you heard of red wigglers? Yeah, they are kind of this color. Okay, I'm going to get my fat brush again and get into my brown, brownish green, and I'm going to paint my nest. Hopefully my birds are all dry so they don't bleed into my nest. By that, of course, I mean the color will merge. Okay, what are we missing? I want to give Mama Bird some eye color. What is your eye color? Do you want to give Mama's your eye color? I'll give her mine. Mine's green. You can give her blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes, black eyes. It's just the part in the middle that's called the iris. That was the circular part that we did. The very middle here will be black and we will outline the rest of it as well. And this part here will stay white. Now, how about we put a few wisps of blue in the background? Usually I do the background first, but I just didn't want to do that today. And I wasn't sure I was going to do a sky, but I think I'm going to put a little bit of water, maybe just around the birds. Don't 
get the water on anything else that might be wet because then it will bleed. And then I'm going to get my blue. I have a bit of a watery blue here. I don't want it to be very dark at all. And I'm just going to dab some blue. I don't want any dark blue sky. I just want it not white. It's so light that you probably can't even see the color. I can see that it's just right for what I want to do. Look what I just noticed, my friends. My nest is bleeding into my pink bird's wing. So I'm getting my fat brush. It is damp, not soaking wet. And I'm going to pull that brown off. All right. I'll wait for it all to dry before I go over with the pink again. No big deal. Okay, now if your colors have dried and they're a little bit light, I see my, my mama bird here. She's kind of bland and boring. I want to give her a little bit of depth with her coloring because it's all one color. I'm going to go a little darker under her belly and under her wing. Okay, then I'm going to get the water and just blend the rest of it. So it's not darker everywhere else, just in those spots. I'm going to put a little more orange on her beak. And that eye is not really helping. Okay, my friends, we need to let this dry. And then we will get our Sharpies out, okay? Oh my gosh, while I was sitting here, a little hummingbird came up to my window. Okay, my friends, let's get our Sharpies ready, our fine Sharpies. And let's start with baby bird number one here. Let's do that little tootsie do on the top of the head. And go gently around the outside of the bird. If some of your birds are overlapping, like the wings, for example, like I have here, it's purple bird who's over top of pink bird. So I'm going to make sure that that through the eyes, onto mama bird, I'm going to do a little bit on the nest as well, little branches, twigs in the nest. We call this hatching and cross hatching, <laughs> no pun intended. <sighs> The, the little crisscross is hatching and cross hatching when you go cross over that way. Okay, my leaves, I'm not going to do with this. If you want your leaves to jump out a little bit more, you can add a little more green, maybe a little more brown. Because remember, when, it, when the watercolor dries, it gets a lot lighter. So if you want some darker shades, just add them after they dry. Okay, my friends. We are finished. This is our Hangry Birds. If you want to do some more of my tutorials, I have watercolor, acrylic, and pastel tutorials on my YouTube channel, Yela Productions. Thanks for watching. Thanks for participating. See you next time. Bye.